It's almost time to get back into the school routine, and that means some families might choose to pack some school lunches for kids during the school year. In tonight's Health Beat, Kelloland's Kelly Volk has tips on what you should put in your child's lunch box. Rob Jensen is very familiar with this time of year. I mean, we've already started school shopping. We've already started stocking the fridge with healthy snacks. The Sioux Falls man has two teenagers left in school. Usually we pack if they don't like what's going to be in the lunch. Uh, try to give them some vegetables, fruits. I don't know if they eat it, but we give it to them. Produce is a good option. A Sanford clinical dietitian recommends including three to four of the food groups per meal. You know, whole grains, protein, fruit, vegetable, and then dairy. Krogstad says there are ways to ease the stress for parents. And so some suggestions I have for parents is to plan ahead. Um, a lot of times, you know, take the weekend or prep food for the week. Parents can also take the pressure off themselves by packing leftovers in their children's lunch boxes. A well-rounded meal could help kids in the classroom. You know, when studies have shown that kids who aren't eating their breakfast in the morning and then, you know, maybe they're not getting adequate lunch, it's hard for them to really stay focused and um, to learn what they need to be obtaining from school. I mean, healthy bodies, healthy minds. You can't focus, you can't pay attention, you can't learn, you can't work. If you're foggy, I don't know if you've ever been tired and hungry at work, but if you become foggy, you become, it's important. With Health Beat, I'm Kelly Volk. Krogestad says that a treat such as a small candy bar is okay too. In fact, she says it helps teach kids about moderation. For all your back to school needs, remember to check out our special back to school page on Kelloland.com. You can find your child's school supply list as well as start dates for each school district.